we go. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow nurse brothers and nurse sisters. I'm here with my boy. Nurse Cisco. And Nurse Mendoza. We're here in the mix. We're actually going to talk about fast. You guys know what that means? Fast and the Furious? No, not Vin Diesel, Paul Vin Diesel? Walker. Rest in peace. Rest I'm in sorry, peace, but we're praying for you. And the most important thing we're talking about is fast. People who have stroke signs and symptoms. Okay, so the acronym for fast, we're going to start out with face. That's what the F stands for, facial drooping. If there's a slight droop to the left or to the right, they're gonna be kind of just hanging out like this to the side. And if spit comes out, we got an issue there yeah, going on. So you definitely want to look for the facial uh, drooping and anything that's going on with the patient. And what does the A stand for? The friend? A, we move on to the arms. Uh, not only the arms, but also the legs. So we're assessing for any droop or any drifting of the arms back to the bed. So we have our patients. Yeah. We're not zombie walking, no, no. walking dead. Yeah, yeah none no, of that. No, no. So have the patients put their arms out and see if anything is drifting. And see yeah. with the legs. Have them lift their legs and see if they drift. Exactly. And also the little hand squeeze and if they're able to move their feet forward and back, you know, pushing on the gas pedal, it's very important if they can't do that. What's the proper term for that? Plantar flexion, dorsal flexion? There you go, my Nursing friend. students, you gotta know the keywords. Write that down, okay? <laughs> the Babinski is not one of the little tests we check for, for neuro, okay? <laughs> now, the S is gonna be for speech. So, slurring of the speech, they're not gonna be talking dialect or a different language. No, 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 no. They're not gonna learn Spanish or like Chinese in two seconds. So, if they start speaking a different language, you make sure that's gonna be something that's out of the baseline for the patient. And uh, definitely something critical. So, you follow up on that. And what does a T stand for, my friend? T stands for time. Correct. Not only immediately calling 911 when you start seeing these symptoms, but also the window when you're able to start TPA. All hospitals are different, yeah. but it's generally three to four hours. Three to four hours, window of opportunity. That'll either make the patient or break the patient. So you definitely want to get that so we don't have any other risks and complications after that window of opportunity for the patient to be safe. You know, get the CT scan going, TPA started, and hopefully everything will be right then and there for the patient to have a better and great prognosis. So there you guys have it fast. Yep. Break it down. Facial expression, facial droopage. The arms and legs for any drift. And speech slurring. And also time so you can begin TPA and any other interventions. Yes, my fellow nurse brothers, any questions, comments, or any other type of topics you guys want to talk about, put it on the bottom because I'm losing breath. My fellow nurse brothers, Nurse Mendoza. Nurse Cisco. Peace. Peace. Oh, that was Sweet. Good. That was good. That was good. That was, that was good. Than, see, that's why it's good to do.